Good afternoon. The leader of UKIP and their first selected MP have been campaigning in Rochester today ahead of a by-election next month. They lent their support to Mark Reckless, who resigned his Conservative seat weeks ago. The sun was shining on UKIP in Rochester this morning. If you believe Nigel Farage, it's going to stay that way. People are going to vote for Mark Reckless because he's been a local MP and he's helped them. He's resigned his seat and said the people of Rochester and Strood can make their own minds up. But they'll also vote for Mark Reckless UKIP because they believe in what UKIP stands for as a national party. They certainly won't have it all their own way. Signs are this will be a tougher fight. Well, it hasn't been easy. It's been a, a difficult decision. I've had some brickbats sort of thrown at me. Clearly, some of the Conservatives are, are very angry, but yeah, I, I'm fighting a positive campaign focused on the, the, on the local issues. I don't have a lot of time for political turncoats like Mark Reckless and Douglas Carswell. They represent the views of a lot of British people. They certainly represent a lot of my views. I'm going to vote for anyone that I believe uh, genuinely is interested in uh, solving the problems affecting the local towns. Labour, the Lib Dems and the Greens are filled in candidates, but the Conservatives will get theirs from an open primary. Opposite UKIP's Rochester base, the distance to London Bridge. The question is, can they go the extra mile to reach Westminster?